What's up guys, welcome to another video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to sign up for your business emails that if you just want business emails and you're not looking to develop a site and you do want to have that professional look for your business so today we're just signing up for your business email so yeah uh, just follow along and let's just get to it all right guys let's actually just go inside here and just check what it offers so go to absolute hosting and under email hosting go to business hosting click on email hosting packages and click on order your email hosting now so we're going to be going for this package which is the business email um, hosting silver so this is only for um, email um, no website it also gives you a free domain that's if you register for annual billing for the store so it gives you an email um, email domain and um, you've got 15 email accounts 15 aliases, um, SSL and TSL is enabled, um, two factor of authentication. So yeah, we're just gonna be um, registering this one. Once you're here, um, you can click on, they do have other ones here, just bigger storage obviously. So once you're here, you can just click order now. So if you are gonna be registering a new email, I would suggest that if you are taking this for your business, I would suggest um, taking it for a year so you do get this free domain. Obviously the extensions are dot, 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 co, dot, za, org, or, or net. Um, so I'm gonna be using an existing domain because um, I don't need to register a new domain currently. So if you are gonna, so if you if you do need a new domain, um, just put in your new domain here and make sure that it is available. So maybe I'll say, um, I don't know, blue fences, maybe you're doing an email, maybe you're doing an, an email for your fencing business called blue fences. So let's check that and then you would just continue. For all those who are doing um, it for an existing domain, just make sure that um, you click on this one, which is I'll use an existing domain, I'll change the name service. So I'm gonna be using my um, just living podcast domain which i registered with absolute hosting i'm just going to change the name service to those of absolute hosting so okay so this is the package blue email hosting um so if if this is for your new business and it's something that's going to be kind of a serious business i'd recommend you take it annually just pay this 420 rand um 429 rand pro router and then you will get your domain for free. If you just do it monthly, they're going to add a 61 Rand for your domain. So um, it depends up to you what you wanna do. I'm just gonna say monthly, um, but you pick whatever one you feel is comfortable for you. Click on continue. So since obviously I took it monthly, again, I'm gonna get the 69 Rand. This is what you would need to pay today depending on um, what you decided to take and we'll click on checkout so you need to fill out all your information here um, let's go with John Fences make sure that um, you got an email address um, phone number company I'm already I already have an account with absolute hosting so I'm gonna click on already registered. Just make sure all this information is filled out. This is optional. Um, you don't need to fill that in. So I'm already registered. So I'm just gonna say that, and then I'm gonna input my um, login information. And I'm gonna click login. And yeah, so this is my account. And I'll just say pay fast and i will agree to the terms and condition i'll just say complete order all right so it'll take you to this page where you actually need to pay now um, so that your information can be processed and they can activate that email hosting for you so just pay this amount i'll meet you on the dashboard So for all those who are going to be using um, 
the uh, existing uh, domain you need to locate where your name service or hosting settings are um, and we need to change some DS dns settings and change you need to change name service so i'm not too sure where you register that but um i'm registered i registered this domain with afrihost so my one is under your hosting you click on the domain that you want click on host host settings and dns settings and then you can just edit here by pressing this action button and then it's gonna give you all your name servers so i've already gone ahead and done the change of the name servers um because what we're going to be doing is linking it to our gmail so if you are going to, if you are using just gmail we're just going to link that to your gmail so that you can send and receive emails using this new domain with your gmail so the the name service that you need to use for this for this business uh, business hosting is um these three name servers you can get them at the um, I'll also post a link to the name servers. Make sure you scroll down and you do not make sure you, you don't use the hosting servers because there's different name servers for the hosting and different name servers for the business email hosting. Um, so they've got a few name servers. Um, so make sure that you, you've got the right ones. So if you, you do pick business email hosting, change them to these and then click update. So it takes about, um, I'd say eight to 24 hours for them to update. Because I remember when I was signing up for this and I was trying to link my Gmail, it didn't want to on that same day, so I had to wait until the next day. So also another thing, um, Absolute Hosting's information is not clear because now that we're going to be linking it to our Gmail, the linking up is kind of different to the one that I did before. I'm going to link up the one that I did before here because they use their server name um, as the server for the email um incoming and outgoing mails so that was a bit different for me i um, had to get assistance from people at um, absolute hosting um, there's a couple of tickets that i did open um, trying to get the right um, outlook settings and um, gmail settings so that took a while for me to get around but i was eventually able to get the right settings this is get back to um, your emails so on your dashboard you can oh, let me go back here so on your dashboard you can go to services and then um, click on your emails um, uh, business email hosting it would have a red there so the red represents that it doesn't have SSL but um, that indication is more to for websites and not emails emails do have TSL and SSL already enabled so don't worry about that X I was also a bit worried but um, they explained that no it's fine we've got that um, SSL so we've now got the hosting and we now we just need to create an email okay so uh, once you've clicked on your um, product here uh, you can go uh, to email accounts um, so you're going to input um, the email that you want to create here with its info or contact or your name um, and create a password uh, once you've done it make sure that you um, save that information and they're gonna want you to repeat your password and they're gonna want they're gonna ask you if you want to create a quota with it's two gigs so you do get seven gigs with this um, hosting package um, you can make it unlimited if you're gonna be having multiple people on there um, just not your email uh, maybe admin um, info or contact and so on maybe you quote them quote them and um, two gigs each and then you just click create so I've already created one that says info um, here it is just make sure that you save it make sure that you save that password information um, because we're going to be linking it to gmail and uh, for gmail they do require um, a lot of um, repeat putting in um, your email and repeat putting in your password so just keep that information closed so um, once it says successfully created um, then um, go over to your gmail so to um, to link your business email with gmail um, click on uh, begone your gmail click on the gear icon click on see all settings and go to accounts and import and then here check mail from other accounts click add them 
So you need to enter in the email that you just created. So I've created um, info at Just Living Podcast. And I'll click next, import mails, click next. And the username is your email again, so import that, put in your password. So your pop server email is gonna be this server. But it's very important to, um, I'd say, ask Absolute Hosting um, via ticket what your server is. But I think all business email, email hostings actually use this. So you guys let me know if this server name works for you because um, I also had to um, hustle to actually get this server. I do not know why. Um, if anyone from Absolute Hosting is watching, um, please just make it easier for us to be able to get these server names um, than us just having to request it from you. So guys, do try this um, server email and let me know if it works. So leave it at port um, 110, just click on label incoming, click on add account. Yes, I want to be able to, yeah, we do want to be able to send as that. So yes, we click on yes and then click next. And we need to label this. Um, this is the name that the people are going to be seeing on who is sending these emails. So I'm just going to say info, um, just saving podcast. I'm actually just going to pod because I'm actually just going to leave it as, um, just even podcast and then cl click on next the SMTP server is the same server name as the one we used on part 3 um, the username is going to be um, your email address and input your password so and make sure that this is at 25 because these other two ports do not work 25 worked so click on add account so um, an email has been sent we just need to verify it's via our email so we need to head back to our dashboard so we can log into that info um, account that we created and um, verify it that's now webmail um, Okay, so what you want to do is um, put webmail in front of your domain that you just created. Um, it should redirect you to a place where you can actually um, log in like I, how I just did. So we need to input our uh, email address here and our password and we just log in. Um, it'll probably prompt you, um, you can set up a recovery address um, in case that you can't get in here. What I'd suggest is probably the same as, same Gmail email that you're trying to uh, log in with. Um, let's just wait for it to update, see if it's not updating with the new email. So no, we haven't received emails at yet. Okay, let's just click on this recent to our link. Um, maybe it's level that strong. Okay. Okay, so we've just received our email from Gmail. So we need to um, verify by clicking this link. Click it and we need to confirm click on confirm and success um, and then we will go back to gmail um, you can now close this window so we are back at gmail now and um, as you can see these two emails here have a kind of a label uh, just living podcast and um, that means that these emails come directly from um, the Just Living Podcast email that you just created. So we have been able to link them. So what we wanna do also um, is be able to reply as Just Living Podcast. So what you wanna do is go back um, 
to the gear icon, uh, see all settings, uh, ac accounts and import, and here under um, send mail as, uh, when replying to an email, reply with the same address. So we just need to click that here, and it has been updated. So now um, let's try compose an email using our Just Living podcast. Tester, say tester email, just living podcast, and I'm going to send it to my admin at by cloud email. Hi there, tester. I'm going to send that. So we've sent it from our just living podcast. And we're sending it um, on our gym from our Gmail. Um, so let's just see. Let's log into our um, BioCloud webmail. So let's let's refresh. And there it is. Email from Just Living Podcast. So emails have been set up. You should be able to work now. Um, yeah, that's about it guys. Um, we're able to send and receive um, emails from a new business email linked it to our Gmail. Yeah, happy emailing and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, like this video, share it, save it. Let me know if you want to see a video on how to get up to your Outlook if you're using a mail client like Outlook. Uh, let me know guys and I'll see you guys um, on the next one. All right. Cheers, peace.